this is my capper all done. Uh, but I start off with the light kit because that's pretty cool. Uh, it has the normal headlights as before, but I have uh, added rear tail lights and I also moved the power switch to the center of the uh, fuel tank just because I think it looks cool at night. And also, it'll start flashing when it's receiving a throttle signal. So I thought that part was cool and it kind of has a rock light effect to it. I do have rock lights that I could put on later if I want to, but I don't know if it needs it. I'll show you the rest of it now. You guys will have to forgive the dishwasher ring in the background, but uh, first thing I'll show you is that uh, Hobby Wing 2300 KV motor is just awesome. Has a super slow crawl and I put the uh, power switch on top just so that I could see if it's flashing it's receiving a signal to go so um, that might come in handy in a competition just so you know what it's doing also being a 2300 it's quick another nice thing I've added on this is that dig feature and It'll pivot on the wheel now. Didn't do that when I bought it. That's cool. Never had a dig rig before. But I love how it locks the rear axle. The other option is I can go rear steer. And one nice thing is whatever direction I'm looking at the truck, if I want the, the tire I'm looking at, since I'm looking at it from the front, if I want the front of the tire to go left, I just push this lever left. If I want it to go right, I push it right. Now, cool thing, if I'm behind the truck and here's another thing. The way I have this set up is that if I'm looking at it from behind and I want the side of the tire I'm looking at to go left, I push that lever left. If I want it to go right, I push it right. So it's not that hard to, to keep it straight. You just look at the side of the tire that you're looking at, decide if you want it to go left or right, and pop it in. I've got the endpoint set on that already, and it uh, works fantastic. So the other thing, I'll spin this around for you. Watch the nose on this. I have it set up so that if I want it to, suppose I want to do a steep climb, I can draw the nose down. And where that's good is um, if you're trying to do a steep climb, it'll, it'll keep the chassis from unloading. And when I'm done with the climb, I just turn this wheel back. Uh, it's actually there. so. And then I get full articulation again. I did end up putting this. It does that with no weight on the wheel, sorry. I did put this little uh, sticker on top of the uh, winch reel because I needed to be able to see what it's doing. And I could not see what it was doing before because I had no clue. Also, in a previous video, I'd set the winch controller up on this here. Well, I figured out that didn't work because every time I'd move the rear steer with that other, with the lever here that it's not focusing on, um, I was bumping the winch control. And I would eventually burn the winch up because I'm, uh, you know, moving it when I'm not meaning to. So, uh, I can also tell when it's centered and forward by that, uh, how that is. Another great thing is if suppose I'm in a competition and I need to get this winch out quick. I can just dial it to full speed, it comes out quick like that. And then if I wish to drive it back slow, I can set it and forget it on the knob here 
and it can go at whatever speed I want it to go at. As it gets closer, if I want it to go very slow, I can take it in slow, hook it back onto my axle winch. I'll let it draw down once, just so you can see it. All right. And that now gives me back my full articulation. So I love this. I really like this thing. The only thing I don't like about it right now is I have brass uh, centers in all of these bead locks. I don't want them in the back because the back is already pretty heavy and I want a little bit of a weight bias to the forward. So what I've done is I've ordered an entirely separate set of these exact rims but with uh, aluminum centers and I'm just going to go ahead and buy another set of tires for it, new set of uh, two-stage foams and I like to go pretty stiff on the foams. I know a lot of people like these soft tires but I don't have good luck with them. I do have great luck with stiffer foams and this thing is ready for whatever. I really like it and uh, I can't wait to do some competitions with it because I think it's going to do fantastic. It's already set up how I want it and just need to take it out for some testing. That's all for tonight. We'll talk to you all later.